Hey viewers, welcome to another video of the Casual Pro Gamer. Um, today we're doing a domination match from Hotshot GG, as you might have seen in the top, so in the title. Um, and this is kind of uh, my comeback commentary, kind of, yeah, it's not a real special commentary, but it's just I'm really rusty, so I wanted to put in a little announcement prior to the game so that you know that it's not going to be an excellent commentary and I know that so no need to comment on that and uh, I hope you'll still enjoy the game so here we go hey viewers welcome to another game with the casual pro gamer and today we're doing another domination game played by hotshot gg and um, yeah he is playing kale and I haven't. I have seen. I think one game of Kale. Um, he can be quite good. He's not nearly as good as some of the others. But yeah, indeed, it is like I expected. This map is completely dominated by the tanky DPSers, such as uh, in this case Mundo, uh, Warwick, and well, Ezreal, as we saw in the previous game, is doing particularly well as a non-tanky DPS because he has so much uh, well movement he, he can teleport around and things like that and well everyone with a movement speed buff is pretty much golden on this map if they have the uh, the ability to stay alive and champions such as Teemo yeah they they can they have a movement speed buff, but they just aren't good enough. They they cannot stay alive on this map, and that's the main problem. So we see Poppy engaging here and um, preventing Hotshot from getting to uh, the Boneyard. And he's uh, staying here to just guard this point a little bit. Uh, it is quite easy to defend a point uh, as long as there is only one champion attacking you. But as soon as the second one comes in, well the turret doesn't do anything at all. So you will have to back off and wait for your team to, uh, to catch up with you. And yeah, he made a mistake here by... Uh, by running into Poppy, uh, because Poppy still has vision in the ring, as long as she, uh, as you are in the ring, uh, they can still see you. And Poppy obviously charged here, uh, charged Kill, and killed him. Her, Kill is a her, pretty sure. Anyway, um, Asriel doing uh, some damage there. Uh, we cannot really see anything here except, well, the uh, Pantheon now coming in to get an easy kill here. So, kill just uh, protecting this point and getting some last hits on the minions. And not really concerned with. Uh, capturing any points at this moment. They are behind 3-2 to two and uh, they are still a little bit ahead in, uh, in Nexus health. But that really is a matter of seconds and that's not going to work out for them in the end. So Poppy once again coming in with the aggressive style but this time not getting anything done, not even getting the stun. Uh, the health relic or whatever it's called, health pack, it's already gone. So going for the movement speed here and getting out of there. That ram is coming after her, getting a, a well, I guess it's a mini stun or something like that. I don't know. Uh, ram is going to die here, I'm assuming, to Warwick. Yeah, there we go. And Kill just running away while everybody else is just uh, chasing after them. <laughs> and Poppy staying in a little bit too long here. Uh, but yeah, Ezreal coming in to, to do some damage. And they might actually pick off the Kill. Yeah, there's nowhere to run here, so he's going to die. 
Oh, picks up one of the health packs and now it's going to die. Yeah, there we go. So they are going to uh, lose the bottom left but gain the bottom right point. Oh, actually Warwick defending the bottom left point and the bottom right point's just been neutralized. There's nobody there to capture it and three of the enemies just captured it so it's not three to two in their advantage they're a little bit behind now in Nexus health but well same as uh, before it's just a matter of a few seconds and then it will be alright so Mundo with the with the cleaver uh, doing some nice poke and he has a movement speed buff as well as a uh, well the tankiness built in basically so he should do pretty well on this map Pantheon just jumping in while uh, Mundo takes out the, tor uh, the tower so that means there's no tower support for the enemy and that means well like all the time you're fighting in the open and Pantheon actually getting out of there with uh, no, not actually getting out of that. <laughs> ah, he was very low, and uh, yeah. So they are at a th something like 30 points uh, advantage here, and Ramus is once again going after Kill here in this bush. But Kill is going to win this well easily, and there we go going for the storm shield I've been playing some domination today uh, just to get back in shape uh, learn a bit, little bit uh, how to uh, do the fine things on the champions once again because well if you haven't played for two weeks then well you're kinda rusty and on this map it doesn't matter anyway you're either going to win or you're going to lose and that all depends on the champions that are being picked so I find out that Rise is kind of good. Um, Teemo really 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 sucks uh, unless you have a team but yeah with randoms you just really sucks. And then um, uh, what else? Nunu was really good. Nunu can really change the course of the game quite a lot. So Nunu doing a good job of slowing down the uh, uh, what's he called? Uh, Leblanc and they get the kill. And uh, now we are going to see whether... No, they cannot pick off the Trindomir. Trindomir is really the one champion that's always picked and I think Jax is the number two at the moment because they're just too strong. They're, yeah, all you want to play here are heal... Uh, um, not healers, are uh, tanky characters that can uh, fight really well in open field so they don't need the tower support in the beginning of the game well basically in the middle of the game because you start off in mid game and in about five minutes you will be in the end game because everyone will have their uh, ultimates and everyone will have some decent items uh, well not five minutes maybe ten minutes but yeah, you so you enter the late game and um, yeah, since the tower support is non-existent, you really cannot go for the really uh, well the real squishy characters that don't have a flash type ability. And then, well, ability-wise, well, uh, source uh, uh, summoner skill-wise. I'm not really sure what the best ones are. Uh, I see a lot of flash, um, just like on Summoner's Rift. I don't see a lot of uh, of ignites, but yeah, why would you need ignites? The whole game is about one v two or two v one ing your opponents. And um, yeah, Trindomir coming in here to do some damage, but doesn't want to uh, to engage any further than he already did because he lost a lot of health in that Kale apparently really strong but that was also due to the uh, Hexa Gunblade
And he healed and is now coming in once again. But Kill is just out of turret range. And as I said, turrets, uh, well, the tower uh, protection is non existent. So basically, as long as you sta stand out of the range, you have no problem. And you can just neutralize it by capturing the turrets. Especially if you have two champions there, like they have here, one of them can. Uh, can right click the turret and the other one can kill the champion and that really works well if you have a coordinated team a team of people who actually understand how to play this game and um, yeah that doesn't ha happen a lot but if you do get one of those teams then it is really easy to uh, to get these things going so as you can see the LeBlanc dies immediately and couldn't really do anything even though she does have um, she does have a flesh-like ability, so that's why she's still viable on this map. And it's uh, Asriel versus Asriel here, with uh, Ramus and Warwick to back them up. And yeah, now pa Pantheon is coming in to clean it up, or to help clean it up. And they are going to capture the points at the top because of their minions. Well, not actually capturing it there. And LeBlanc is coming top. So, as well as Poppy, wow. So they are trying to get that point. Not sure what the... Uh, oh, it's uh, capture the windmill, so they need to capture top and defend the refinery, which is the uh, left mid. So basically, uh, they need to... I capture this one and then the quest is theirs, uh, meaning 20 health of the enemy nexus. And um, yeah, that's a great uh, thing to have, obviously. It's always a great thing to have. So they kill Poppy and they kill the other guy. I don't even know who that was, or Ramus. So, and they get the point and the 20 points of the enemy nexus. So they're still behind one point, or still, they are behind one point. How about they're now in a 2v2 situation with Asriel there. Asriel can obviously flash away, well it's not a flash, it's uh, one of his skills, uh, but he doesn't really get away. And the um, Trindomir doesn't get away either. Trindomir gets away quite easily normally. And LeBlanc obviously going to die because she's just too weak. And Ramus, yeah, on his own cannot really manage against three champions. But he is going to get out of there. Wow. Oh, <laughs> but getting cut off by uh, the Warwick. It's now 3 to 2 in the, uh, the turrets. Well, the capture points, I guess they're called. And they might as well remove the shooting effect of the turrets because it doesn't really do anything it's kind of random and yeah they are they they get two more kills here when oh, no, one more kill the warwick actually dies to the trindomir and trindomir capturing the top point but the ultimate from Asriel actually getting quite a bit of damage done there as well as saving the point but it didn't uh, just do its own damage, it also uh, lets uh, two tower, sh two tower shots uh, land on um, the Trindomir, which is quite a lot. I'm kind of rusty here. It seems that I forgot most of the champion <laughs> names in two weeks. That's kind of incredible. Anyway, uh, going for, probably not for Rageblade. But who knows? Rage Blade's good on 5v5, so or on Summoner's Rift, so why not here? And <laughs> Poppy actually lives. So it's 4 to 0. And they are going to lose quite a few points here before they can actually take that back. And they actually might manage to get two points back here. Nope. They lose Warwick and they're going to lose the left point, but they are going to capture the bottom left. 
So they're going to lose the refinery here. But they are going to capture the quarry and apparently the refinery is wow. A double kill. And they are going to capture it now. So enemies still pouring in. Because there are still three enemies on the map somewhere. And here's the third one. He's going to get the uh, the quarry back. And yeah, Poppy really yeah is tanky and can do quite a bit of damage. And that should be good enough to actually get some kills and stay alive while doing that. So another storm shield here for Hotshot and he is going to go to top. So top is contested at the moment by enemy Ezreal. Or rather they actually captured it but they are going to get an easy kill here. 2v1 Oh, they didn't get the kill, I think. No, he's still there. Now they got the kill. And <laughs> there we go. So Ram is coming in to disrupt the uh, the capture. Don't know why Pantheon just stopped capturing the point. They could have easily gotten that. But they're not going to now. Because now it's 3 versus 2 and... Yeah, they do get the kill because Trindamir stayed away, or s well, used his ultimates and then needed to still run a little bit to get in range. And LeBlanc is not going to get this. No, she's going to die. Exactly. And that's exactly my point. If you play one of these really squishy heroes, there's no chance on this map. So just don't play them. <laughs> you know, I if you like playing them, it may be fun and every in once in a while you will get a good game and you will get something like 10 kills, but you will die a lot. Just take someone tanky who does a lot of damage. And Ramus seems to be really good here. Although his ultimate really is useless. As with many of the champions, their ultimates just don't do anything at all. And Poppy getting a stun off, but yeah, that's not going to matter anyway. It's a 3v1 situation, and in a 3v1 situation there's nothing you can do, basically. Unless you're Yi or something like that, with a lot of uh, lifesteal. But lifesteal on this map is very good anyway. Well, all of these uh, lifesteal-like characters are really good. By the way, they, they did come back and they now had 3 versus 1 points, still have. And um, they might actually end the game right here, because it's only 71 points remaining. And if they capture this point, it is 4 to 1. Oh, they are still chasing someone? No. Someone died. I don't know who it was. Doesn't really matter either. This map is more about controlling the uh, the time while you're ahead than it is about um, killing champions or capturing turrets. Well, killing turrets. So it's 56 points remaining, and they are at 3 to 2. A puppy coming in with the storm shield, meaning that she does have quite a, a bit more health. And yeah, Hotshot has to run out here. Actually, using the ultimate there, uh, but not staying alive at all. So 41 points remaining. And so, as I said, it's all about controlling the the time, uh, because as long as you're ahead, you can engage, or you should engage the enemy champions, so that they will not be able to uh, to capture the points. And if you kill them, that's fine, but if they kill you, you still get 
well the the time they you they used to kill you is um yeah it's in your advantage so the longer it takes you to die uh the longer you can kite them the better it is and now the enemy is ahead so it's three to two to them and with only 20 points remaining and 120 for the green team it should be no problem to uh to get this but yeah you never know they still have two points so it's not like they're far behind oh a flash there i don't know why uh, it seemed a little bit too much i mean it wasn't really necessary <laughs> But they are going to capture the bottom left point now and have 20 points remaining on the enemy team. Yeah, and now it's sticking down. They are going to capture this bottom right point, maybe, it doesn't really matter. As I said, just controlling the clock here 14, 13, 12. And even though they die, it still takes the enemy team, three champions, a long time to. Uh, to do that and in the meantime they are losing points every second so five four three two one and there you have it zero so that's the game i hope you enjoyed i'll see you next time and i hope i'll be better next time gg